A brand new trailer for the Sonic movie just released, and his design looks so much better than the debut trailer. In fact, some scenes are directly comparable in both trailers, so let's put them head to head. Ready? Let's blast through with Sonic Speed! Alright, maybe that was too fast. Let's go a tiny bit slower between each scene. Alright, so this scene opens identically, but as we move to Sonic, there's a drastic difference in the two designs. The first one kind of looks underfed and scrawny and just like something you'd find on the street, whereas the new one has so much more personality and energy. He just looks fuller and more vibrant, and kind of demands your attention in every scene. There's also some differences in the scene itself here. Uh, the brand new design is holding a ring, whereas the first one's just kind of... Like, I don't know, he's just kind of standing around. <laughs> But yeah, we then go on to the officer shooting Sonic with a tranquilizer dart, and they both sort of react in very different ways too. Uh, the first one just kind of like holds his hands together, whereas the new one's actually kind of freaking out. You can see so many more expressions. And I think a lot of that comes from his larger eyes. They're just far more expressive than what the original one conveyed. And also look at the teeth. The teeth uh, in the original one just give me nightmares for days. Whereas these new ones just, they feel a bit less like he's going to bite you and murder you, which I really appreciate. Now, I don't think this is actually the same scene, as the officer's wearing two different items of clothing here, but just look at how more natural the new one looks. In the first one, it doesn't even really seem like Sonic's there, he's just kind of lounging around in a car. Whereas in the second one, he seems far better composed, and isn't just awkwardly sitting there in that weird pose he's doing in the initial debut trailer. We then go on to another identical scene, although it has changed a tiny bit. Uh, instead of Sonic jumping out of the top of the car, he now latches onto the back and does a spin dash from there. We then get two new identical spin dashes, although the actual effects are very different too. The first one has some more obvious sort of lightning effects, whereas this one just seems more like a normal spin dash. Although when he makes contact with the vehicle, there's still some lightning effects in both scenes. Alright, so this is the last scene in both trailers, and not a whole lot's different in this opening here apart from the lighting being different on this drone. Uh, in the first one it's blue, second one is red, and I guess this is kind of just to show that this is Robotnik's drone, which makes sense with it being red rather than blue. But then as we go on, we get a bit more of a close-up of Sonic in motion when he's running around, and he just looks a whole lot more natural in the second one, especially this slide here. I mean, like, look at this pose. Sonic just fits in so much better in this new version. But what do you guys think? Do you actually prefer the initial debut design, or do you really love this brand new redesigned Sonic? Let us know what you think down below, and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for a lot more on the Sonic movie, and other things gaming too. Until next time, bye!